The problem when searching for music is that you can't always find the right song that goes hand in hand with your edit. And composing your own music? I mean, I don't even know where to start with that. The solution? A simple web interface that allows you to generate a song and basically change anything about it. That is Soundtraw.io and big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now with a free account, you can let their AI generate songs for you, change them, basically use any tool available, but you can't download. For that, you'll need a subscription, which also allows you to use any created song for commercial purposes. And on a side note, they also have an affiliate program which everyone can join. You can give your friends a 14-day trial for free, and if they sign up, you can earn an extra buck. So, with that said, I'd like to provide my edit that I have right here with some music. There's some B-roll in there, then we go over to an interview, and finally we see a logo animation. So, this could be something for a client. So, let's open up Soundtraw.io, and I'm gonna start off with selecting a mood. Since it's about Janik's miniature painting hobby, I'm going to pick Chill and select Cinematic for its jar. We can go ahead and choose the length and with instruments and all, but we can also change that later on. So, we'll just click on Create Music. There are artificial intelligent is going to generate 15 different songs for me from these settings and I'm just going to go through them, look for something that I like. It doesn't really need to have the right pacing and instrument since we could all change that. What I'm initially looking for is the right mood. I kind of want to have these fantasy vibes in there as that fits the interview video. You can always generate your music list again or generate more songs if there's nothing in here that you like. But I do like this song right here so I'll click on edit. As you can can see the song is made out of different blocks. We can easily shorten the length of the song, which will take away some blocks, but we can also add new blocks in here, even right after a block column that you've chosen. Next we can change the beat per minute, making the tempo go slower or faster. Now you'll see that we have a couple of tracks, these are instruments. From the menu on top we can even change these instruments. So instead of bell, we take the harp. Next is the key or the pitch of the song, which we can change as well, and finally is the volume of each instrument. Really cool to have this option right here. And you know, it doesn't stop there. For each block, we can choose a variation of the instrument, making them more prominent or turn them off. So in our case, we start with some B-roll. Here, it's interesting to give more attention to the song, so I just enable most of these blocks. But as we go to the interview, the music has to act more as background. So I'll disable some of these blocks and perhaps only keep on the melody and the backing. Finally, we have the logo animation, so I'll turn up the music again, giving that more attention. Now, sometimes it's easier to see your video while making these changes to the music, and they have that option in here as well to just insert your video into their web app. You're not actually uploading your video, but it just plays back your song and your local video in sync. Let's have a listen. My hobby is Lord of the Rings strategy battle game, and it's a board game where you have miniatures of the characters of Lord of the Rings. Now that sounds really good, and I love how I can just cater this to exactly what I want. The last thing that I haven't really mentioned yet is the fill. Basically, these are the transitions from one block over to the other. If you turn them off, the next block will start instantly. And we also have a couple of different variation of that transition going both to and from the next block. I do like to have some transition when going from the B-roll over to the interview, but to the logo can just start right away. All right, I can now save this song so that I can perhaps use it again in the future and maybe make some changes to it. You never know when a client comes back for adjustment, so it's always good to save your stuff. You can also create a shareable link. Maybe your client needs to approve it first. Well, you have the option right here. Now I'm just gonna hit download so that we can bring this song into Premiere Pro, put it underneath my edit, and let's check out the final results. My hobby is Lord of the Rings strategy battle game and it's a board game where you have miniatures of the characters of Lord of the Rings and you can recreate battles from the movie and the book of course, but you also need to paint them. We definitely check out SoundDraw.io, there's a link in the description down below as well as more information about the affiliate program. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new today, thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative. Now. Here on my left side, we got some more videos, so check out that playlist and don't forget to subscribe with that round button down there. And hit like. Don't forget to hit like.